Let's talk mailbag. And welcome to Mailbag. And this week again, we have Minister Alan Reynolds, our millennial theologian, <laughs> who has so much wisdom from God. He's a husband, father, scholar, and we are just so grateful that he's here to answer this question, which I'm going to catch him off guard a little bit. It's a little personal. So, Minister Alan, how have you been coping through this COVID-19 pandemic? How are you doing? Sheltering in? What's been difficult for you? How have you managed? How have you gotten through these, these times? Wow, that is an unexpected question. Um, I'd say I've been overall good. I've told people one of the things that was actually really helpful for me was my pastor, probably the second week that we were sheltered in, did a, um, a post on social media and was trying to help the congregation to check in with themselves and to check in with each other about how they're feeling. And uh, he got it from his youth ministry days and it's this uh, phrase called pies. So how are you doing physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually? And uh, he also just reminded the congregation that it's okay to not be okay in one of his sermons, um, that this is a pandemic, right? That um, a lot of times as believers, we don't feel like there's space, like we need to, that having faith in God means that we don't feel the world or feel what's happening to us. And we know that that's not true, right? Jesus wept. We get too many stories in the scripture of faithful people who, uh, who, feel right they, they go through and so i'll say given the circumstances um personally i did lose loved ones to to this uh virus my um my grandfather passed during this time period uh probably the second or third week we were sheltered in so that was tough for me and my family um you know we've just been having to work around what's like to be in the house together but i will say in the midst of all of that i've been so grateful um for God, you know, for my wife, for my girls, us being able to spend time together, um, you know, being able to be blessed to, to have work to do and to continue to share. Um, and day to day, it's, you know, being a teacher because the girls are homeschooled and trying to also be poppy who can help get the snacks and a answer the questions and trying to help my wife out a lot, um, you know, just trying to be present and even checking in on my parents, you know, um, during these times that I can't be with them, hug them, see them all the time. Um, you know, it's, it's been good, I'd say, especially just knowing um, that people checked in, right? Hearing people that I have, may not talk to that very often, that uh, just God put them, put me on their minds. That really encouraged me a couple of days in particular, just they would call up, hey, how are you doing? And I'm like, wow, you know, God, God is thinking about me and prompted somebody else in the spirit to check on me. So that, that really made a difference for me. That's so excellent. Thank you for, for sharing. I think something you said that was so, so important and it's not to deny our feelings. The feelings are okay. It's normal. It's natural. These are difficult times. We've never experienced anything like this. And so, you know, I've been on a, I went on a little bit of roller coaster, even though I've been so busy, but it, it, it's a different kind of reality. And so uh, we go through it. We, we have, that's what having prayer partners is so important. That's I get with my prayer partners. We share, we can, that's where I can just disclose and say how I'm feeling. And then one day I just went to the Lord and I said, you know, I don't like this. I want to be, I want things the way they were. I want to go out. I want to go to restaurants. I want to go get my nails done. <laughs> I want to be. And, and when I just, you know, kind of unloaded, nothing pretty or fancy, but just honest how I felt. Oh, my goodness. And it wasn't that long a prayer. But when I finished praying, it was like, hmm, I feel better. Thank you. So we hope that that encourages those of you who are Sunday School Made Simple, uh, people who, you know, watch us and listen to these lessons, we want to apply these lessons to our lives so that we can get through these times. And we thank God 
that we have his word that gives us wisdom. So we're going to close with Alan giving us our keep in mind verse for this week. Absolutely. And it comes from James chapter one, verse five. It says this, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. And that's James 1, 5 in the New Living Translation. Amen. Let's all pray and ask God, why, Lord? Why (laughs) COVID-19? Okay. You have a great week. Be blessed.